Hey, welcome to the Audacity Bootcamp. Let's talk about what's new in Audacity version 2.4.1. In Audacity 2.4.1, one of the new features is LUFS, or Loudness Units. Have you heard of LUFS, L-U-F-S? It stands for Loudness Units Full Scale. It's one of those acronyms that once you hear what it, what it means, what the letters stand for, it's still meaningless to you. It doesn't really do a lot of good to know what it is. Well, LUFS is a overall loudness, perceived loudness, of your podcast from beginning to end. In other words, it's a measurement of the overall average loudness, the perceived loudness of your entire file from start to finish. It can be part of a file that you've selected within Audacity, or it can be an entire track. It can be your entire podcast. One of the last things that you should do as a podcast editor is raise your podcast or lower your podcast level, as the case may be, to the acceptable LUFS standard. Did you know that there's LUFS standards for podcasts? If you're editing and exporting a podcast in mono, the LUF standard is a minus 19 LUFs. If you're exporting your podcast in stereo, the LUF standard is a minus 16 LUFs. And the number before the LUFs acronym is just a reference to dB. So a minus 16 LUFs would be an average loudness of a minus 16 dB. A minus 19 LUFs would be an average loudness of your file of a minus 19 dB overall. Remember, it's perceived loudness. It's what your ears are hearing and perceiving to be the loudness. The beautiful thing about LUFS is once you level the loudness, the person listening to your podcast doesn't have to chase the volume up and down to try and figure out what's being said because it, it levelizes it. A little bit different than normalization. Normalization attempts to raise or lower the level of your podcast to whatever you've got it set at. If you've got it set to peak out at a minus 1 dB, a minus 2 dB, it tries to keep those peaks there. Whereas LUFS, loudness units aren't concerned with the peak level. They're concerned with the overall loudness. So a minus 19 LUFS is always going to sound consistent through the entire podcast. There's not going to be any high volume. There's not going to be any low volume. It's going to make it standardized. It's going to make it the same. Well, in Audacity version 2.4.1, we now have the ability to apply LUFS to a file. Let me show you. In this screen that I've got open, I have a wave or I have a file that I brought in here, which does happen to be a wave file. I exported this for my Zoom H6. It's about 22 minutes long. It's had zero editing on it. You can see that the level is low. I left the level low intentionally so that we could see what happens here when we apply loudness units to it. And so within Audacity now, with the new tool in Audacity 2.4.1, I now have an effect called loudness normalization. And this isn't the normalization that we're used to, which is two steps down. This is overall loudness normalization. It's LUFS. So if I click on loudness normalization, it brings up my LUFS screen. And in my LUFS screen, I can normalize to two different things. I can normalize to perceived loudness, LUFS, which is what I want, or I can normalize to root mean square, which is average audio, which is a different critter altogether. I'm going to leave it at perceived loudness because that's the standard that we want to set. It remembers my last setting when I open this back up. It knows that the last time I used it, I was at a 19, a, a 19, I was at a minus 19 LUFS because I was using it on a mono file. Remember, for mono recordings, it's a minus 19 LUFS. For stereo recordings, it's a minus 16 LUFS, perceived loudness. Well, I usually do mine in, in mono, and so I had it set to a minus 19 LUFS. Now, one of the things that you can do, too, is if you click the Manage button, you'll find out that there are no factory presets for LUFS. Those may show up one day but you can create your own presets. And that's what I've done. I have three user presets right now. I have my mono recording preset, which is the one on the screen. If I change it to stereo recordings, you'll see that my LUFS level changes to a minus 16. It's no longer a minus 19. And that I've checked normalized stereo channels independently. In other words, when I am normalizing to a LUFS level, to a loudness level in a stereo file, it's looking at each channel individually and it's going to bring those channels up to the same minus 19 LUFs, or in this case, minus 16 LUFs, for consistent listening. That means that your person listening to your podcast doesn't have to change that volume up and down all over the place as they're listening, because a part of it went quiet, and then a part of it went loud. LUFs takes care of that problem, and if you leave that normalized stereo channels independently, it's going to normalize both left and right stereo channels to the same LUFs level. 
eliminating that need to chase audio levels all over the place in your podcast. I've also got in my user presets, I've got one for video recordings, which I do a lot of. This particular one is set to a minus 24 LUFS, which is an audio setting for US video. You know, you got video and then you got the audio as, as part of the video. Minus 24 is the US setting for LUFS. The European setting is a minus 23 LUFS. I use both. I go back and forth with both, depending on what I'm doing and what's going on. But if I hit that manage button again and I took my, take my user preset back to mono recordings, let's see what it does here on this file when I click OK. And you can see that it takes a couple of seconds to do its gyrations. And then boom, just like that, I have leveled my file to a minus 19 LUFS overall. So that when I'm listening to this file, it's going to be enjoyable to listen to. I don't have to chase volume up and down. I don't have to think, well, what did that guy just say over there? Or what did that gal just say right there? I didn't catch it. The volume was too low. LUFS levelizes that volume, the overall perceived loudness of your podcast from beginning to end. So that's one feature within Audacity 2.4.1 that's really a gem. It now has a LUFS effect. So take advantage of that and use it and play around with it and see what it'll do for you. Until next time, see ya.